Welcome to lesson number 20, in-depth packaging. In our previous video, we took a broad look at the repackaging process and learned how it works. So let's do some real-world repackaging with a real-world application. For this example, we decided to have a look over VLC. VLC upgraded their installers recently and now offers an MSI installation for download, whereas previously only EXE files were accessible. Now let's fire up our VMware machine and download the VLC installer executable. Once we have our VLC downloaded, let's open up Advanced Repackager and click on Capture Setup. Make sure that the session monitoring option is not enabled. Advanced Repackager will prompt us to select the executable that we wish to capture, so let's go ahead and select our VLC installer. Now that we have chosen it, uh, let's begin the repackaging process in our VM. Advanced Repackager automatically reverts to a clean snapshot, uploads the executable and begins the process automatically as shown in previous video. The initial capture is now complete and the VLC installation has shown on our VM, so let's make it the default next next and that's all there is to it. Now that we've completed our installation, let's press enter in the CMD to continue with the second snapshot of Advanced Repackager. And now that everything is done, Let's do a little bit of a cleanup in this capture and remove everything that has nothing to do with our VLC application. We will keep what's in Program Files folder and VLC in the Files tab. And also the registry needs a little bit of cleaning, but you have to expand all of them to see what is related to your application. Keep in mind that captures cannot be perfect because there are many processes running in the background and we at Advanced Installer are constantly working to enhance our monitoring program to eliminate the garbage. Also, repackaging is not an exact science and you may need to intervene in the MSI or capture to ensure that you have all that you need for your package. In terms of shortcuts, we keep all of them and everything else in the capture should be fine at this point. Now that we have our capture cleaned up, we can first save it somewhere locally so that we have access to it in case we need it. And after we save it, we can choose that we want an MSI and open it up in Advanced Installer. For your capture, Advanced Installer will automatically build an AIP project. You can make any modifications you want to your MSI package here and years of development and current tools like Advanced Installer have made it much easier to manage your MSIs. Just think of how much time you'll save with all the automations behind Advanced Installer and we haven't even covered all of them. Now that we've learned how to repackage and clean a capture, let's have a look on how to detect and implement specific app settings in your recaptured MSI in the following video.